Well, hello guys. Come on in, come on in. We've got a living room tour for you today. This has been one of our most requested videos. You guys want the details. You want a detailed tour of the living room. And that's what we're giving to you today. So uh, we're just gonna walk around, walk you guys around, share all of our favorite finds, the, the, the furniture, the paint colors, all of it. So I hope you'll love this video. Make sure you're a subscriber if you are not, because it's free. How many things are actually free in life? Yeah, okay, let's get started. The real question is, is which way should we go first? I feel like we always go this way. <laughs> that way this time. All right, come on. All right, so in this living room, one of the first things that we did is that we painted this room out in all white. When we first moved into the house, the entire room was beige and it was just, it, you know, I'm not against beige colors, but that one in particular hadn't been painted in a while. And it was just kind of dingy and didn't really look all that great. So giving this room a fresh coat of white completely transformed it. The next thing that we did was that we painted the fireplace. Originally we painted it out and didn't have that big mirror up there. And that new mirror is a newer addition and we love the result. It feels like it just really finishes out the room, makes it feel extra special. That one's from RH. If you need a huge mirror, they are a good source, but if you don't need one that big, I'm gonna leave a link down below, along with the other items that I share with you today. I always have them linked down below in the description for you, and then alternates for some that aren't available or you know might be a little bit more of investments. I usually leave up a link for something that's similar. So uh, yeah, I mean, that definitely makes the room feel a lot taller. It makes the room feel a lot bigger. We took down all the blinds off of all the windows, which just brought in a huge amount of light and it just makes the room feel ethereal. It makes it feel cloud-like and I love it. So the other thing that we did, so we painted out the banister and the handrail and the spindles in this black color. It's like an iron color, which matches the new doors that we also put in. This room is kind of crazy, because it's super open and it's literally the center of the house and you walk in and you're immediately in it. So we've been able to match that iron door, give it a similar look here with the banister and the stairs. And we also switched out the treads and the carpet, which was a really big change when we put down this floor. One of our most asked questions is, what kind of flooring do you have? Well, this is a French oak reclaimed wood, and I will leave a link for the company down below. It's been absolutely amazing. I was a nervous wreck about putting in this flooring because of course it's a huge investment, but we love it. The other thing about this room is that there really isn't, right? There isn't an entryway. So I kind of created a little bit of sections in this room by sectioning off this side by putting this gorgeous console table or console cabinet here. Now, you guys want to know what's inside of this stuff? It's all of our junk. <laughs> this is where all the color is. <laughs> and all the junk. I think people will ask me that probably on every single one of my videos and all of my Instagrams. They're like, where is your stuff? Where's the junk? And I'm like, it's right here. So I think closed cabinets can be very handy in a home. And yeah, we have three kids and they still love to hang out with us. I don't know why, but they do. And we play games together. And so we've got a stash here. And then um, as far as up here, uh, the statue is probably one of the most asked for links. It's custom made and it was made in a small batch. So I'll leave a link for something similar for you and the company that you could reach out to if you're really interested. But yeah, I've got the really cool H&M candle. You guys know I'm obsessed with H&M candles. They have such really cool items and they're so affordable. So you kind of see a little bit of a balance going on here. And then oh, one of my other favorite things that is always kind of tucked back here is this really cool stool with the little three legs. I love this one. It's from a company in Copenhagen and I just love it. And so it acts as a stool. It, people, we sit on it, we use it as a table. Like it's kind of awesome. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> We use a 
dresser to stash all of our extra junk. So I use closed storage a lot as like a secret to keeping all of the junk, you know, hidden. <laughs> we definitely still have it. These are just loaded with, you know, AirPod cases, keys, you know, all the, all the lotions, matches, lip balm, it's all in there. So yeah, the junk drawer is here because when you come in here, this is from the garage. So it just depends on who's arriving, the front door or garage, but essentially this is our entryway, but then it's still attached to the living room. So it's kind of crazy. Yeah, let me show you over here. So before we get too far into this tour, let's answer one of the most asked questions I have ever gotten. And that is Valentina. How do you design the room? <laughs> that is a great question. And thankfully today, Mila Note is here and I'm gonna show you how I have put together the space before I put together the space. I'm so excited to take just a moment and thank Mila Note for being our video sponsor for today. Mila Note is an incredible online tool that you can use for any of your creative projects. As a designer, I have always created mood boards for all of my work and I used to need a big whiteboard or a, the table for all of my ideas. And nowadays we do everything digitally. So for me as a designer, I always start out with the design inspiration. I want to think about the overall inspo and what really drives my design project. So for me, that usually starts out with inspiration photos. And a lot of times in a photo, what I've discovered over the years is what catches my eye about a photo may not be what catches someone else's eye. So whether I'm working on my own project or someone else's, I can point to the items specifically in the photo that are the things that really were, that really caught my attention and what I'm wanting to incorporate into my project. I can also add in little notes to myself and things that I want to make sure that I remember. Like I want this room to feel sophisticated. I want it to feel relaxed. I want to talk about the colors themselves. So I can include all of that on my, on my page. I love using Mila Notes web clipper. So here you can see I'm using that feature. I'm going to Pinterest. It's one of my favorite places to go when I'm doing any design and any project that I'm working on and I can just simply click on it. It's going to pop it right into my project. So it's a very convenient feature. And for me, I love being able to search for classic modern interiors. And so I'm able to pull in a style that I really love and it helps me create the entire thing. So for me, the next step is to get way more specific. We go from big dreaming to what are we actually talking about here? So I'll start going through and pulling actual bowls, materials, hard surfaces, paint colors, uh, what cabinet am I going to use? What is the wood tone? And I'm gonna want to see how all of that looks sitting together. I can actually have links to the product. So if I'm sending it to a client, especially, it's really nice for them because they're able to actually click on the product and get directly taken to it. Mila Note is also really nice because you can actually remove the background of a photo. So that's something that I use all the time in my design boards because I don't want the noise of the other, you know, the background of the photo. I just want the cabinet. Before I can really complete any project, before I'm gonna ever pitch to a client, of course, I have to actually come up with the actual layout of the room. So I'm really, I'm thrilled that Mila Note has the option where I can import my layouts. I'm able to import my own photos. I can link to items, right? Like I have so many options. I can pull everything that I need to look at for my design projects into their tool. So it really is so helpful. I love seeing the layout. I love seeing how I'm going to put everything together. And that's a, of course I have to do that. So I know if everything is going to be the right size, how the overall look is. And it's a really great tool if I'm presenting this to a client because they can see, Oh wow, I want to live in that room. <laughs> once I've got my layout and once everything is really starting to look like it's coming together, then I create a product list and that is very specific. Specific. I've narrowed everything down. We're no longer dreaming. We are to doing. <laughs> so then you can create a to do list and you can add everything from order swatches, order the cabinet, order the rug, right? Like everything goes into the do, in, everything goes into the to do list. You can say these words all together. So after 
all the items are checked off the to-do list. The best part is, is seeing the finished result. And for me, of course, that's my favorite part is seeing everything come together so perfectly. And of course you can include that as well. So as a designer, I can even have my own drawings made and sketches of the space beforehand. And I'm able to present all of that to my clients. Mila Note also has an amazing share feature. So you can see here where I'm actually sharing this, I can invite anyone to it. So it just depends on the project that I'm working on. But lately, I've, I'm, you can see here where I'm sharing this with Jack and we can actually communicate through the project. And so we're writing each other notes. We can also create a to-do list, which is what is really helpful to be able to get any project done. And delegating those tasks is really important. I also love it back in Note, we can delegate those tasks and then check them off as we get them done. Note offers several amazing templates in different categories. I suggest that you check out the templates in the interior design section. They have four that you can choose from. You can choose the project plan, the design brief, the mood board, and or the product list to help you get started on your next project. So the best part of all of this is that you can try Note for free. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the show notes for you to check out, but literally just tap that link. You can start your own account and start trying it right now. Now back to our room tour. All right, so over here, I have put two sofas together and in between put these two West Elm tables. So I absolutely love having these white sofas. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. We tried a couple configurations, but the biggest thing that we changed in here, like over time as we were really kind of trying to feel out what the vibe of this room was gonna be, I put down this huge rug. This is actually an Amazon find, if it's still in stock, because these things keep selling out because it's such a good rug. And it's got this amazing silky feel to it. And uh, I always tell everybody that the, the secret to keeping it clean is my little Bizzle machine, <laughs> a little portable carpet cleaner. It takes stains out of the white sofas, the upholstery, the carpets, the rugs, you know, everything. So it's really amazing because that's what everyone wants to know. It's like, where's that sofa from and how do you keep it clean? <laughs> but I really have ended up loving these. They have this flat top up here. And so we kind of sit up here when everyone's hanging out and yeah, it kind of acts as an extra seat and we love them. And then I think the pillows right now are some of my favorite. I'm just really enjoying the little geometric one. It looks a little bit like a Greek key and a little bit of the faux leather. We've got some velvet, we've got some linen. And yeah, I love mixing in the black and the white and a little bit of these caramel colors. I think that the whole thing just kind of comes together. It feels really warm and inviting. And yeah, we're really enjoying it. Up on the fireplace, I mentioned the mirror before, but let's talk about the olive tree sitting next to it because we've tried a few things in this little spot. It's a little bit tricky, right? But tricky spots can also be an amazing moment to do something unexpected. So we've got this olive tree, which we found on Amazon, guys. Oh, I know, I'll leave some links down below. It keeps selling out, but I'll leave it linked down below in case it does come back in stock. Uh, yeah, that we can check it, but it's amazing. It really adds a lot of height. It adds a lot of green over here. It really just fills out the space and makes it feel really homey. We've got the top of it stuffed with the Spanish moss and uh, yeah, we kind of fluff that up just a little bit more. And yeah, we just kind of cover up the fact that down below we've got some paper stuffed in there, but yeah, I love it. And then up here, I've got this gorgeous bowl from H&M Home. They, I'm telling you, they are my go-to source, them and Amazon for Lux for Less finds. And then sometimes I spend just a little bit more, but this one's available on Wayfair. So you might want to check some of these out. The other thing that people always want to know about are the spheres that are on the floor. These are absolutely gorgeous and I will leave everything linked up down below for you. Uh, one of the things that I did when we changed this up, I thought about putting in marble and that would have been really pretty too. But at the time I was really on like an extremely low budget. I really barely had enough money to have this room painted out by the painters. All the other rooms that aren't two story, I painted myself. Uh, so when it came to the fireplace, I decided just to paint the whole thing out. 
and this is Midnight Oil by Benjamin Moore. I will leave all the colors linked down below as well. But I ended up putting in this limestone, and I just think that this limestone is absolutely gorgeous, especially with that kind of dark gray grout, and it gives it this beautiful, beautiful texture and warmth and interest, but it also just makes it kind of sexy in a way, I think, as well. And then over here, we've got the eucalyptus tree, another Amazon find. This really cool table, Amazon, love it. We've got the lamps here, one of our favorite things because the little light switches are up here and we're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, light switch on the top so you can actually reach them without having to get down on the floor to try to find the cord. You can bring the light up and you can also bring the light down with the light switch, so yeah. The kids really love these. They'll just stand there and mess with them, especially our youngest. He's like, he loves these lamps. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then over here, I would say that this lamp really transformed this corner. I've got the Ikea console table sitting behind here. It was out of stock for like three years and they finally brought it back. I think they watched my videos. I'm like, Ikea, please, what are you people thinking? <laughs> They actually discontinued it. It's the LAC console table, and it just sits back behind here. And so it was a great, it's great for saving money as well because it's actually made really well and holds up all the weight of the books and everything, but I love it. I love being able to sit here and see out into the garden and the water fountain, and then when it's cold enough, we finally are getting some warmer weather. It is nice to have the fire and to hang out here. And yeah, I've got the, I love this lamp. I mean, honestly, I think it's one of my favorite things I've ever owned. It may actually be my favorite light. I just think it's so cool. And then the marble bowl, of course, with the little ruffle on it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's, I just think it's just so nice to have interest with the shapes and the movement of everything. And then at the moment, we've got the lime tree in here. I actually wasn't planning on putting this here. It was just at the last second. I was like, oh, I feel like I need a little green in here post holidays and I ended up loving it. It just had some blooms and I'm just starting to see some limes forming on it. So I think we're actually gonna have like real limes. Like it is kind of cool and it does get a lot of light here, especially now that the blinds are down. So yeah, these I found in a local, um, a local nursery. So I'll try to leave something linked up that's similar, but yeah, I, I love it. Sometimes I just want it to be really simple. Sometimes I want it to be really extra. Sometimes I've had really big arrangements. Sometimes I've had something really low. But overall, I love having my books out because we can actually sit, especially like on the weekends, we have some time off and sit and read the books and have the candles lit. I adore the sandstone version of those ruffle bowls. I mean, what? I mean, it's so pretty. I could just die love it and i've got a candle going at the moment you guys freak over these this company sells the most amazing candles they're not the cheapest h&m is probably the most affordable out of the candles in the house but this one is still really affordable it comes in this really pretty wicker container i'll leave it linked below uh but i i've had their sweet tea one their Hava this is the havana and it's making the house smell like like spring break <laughs> We're just kind of like really enjoying that vibe right now. But yeah, it smells so good in here. And then at the moment, I actually have the little faux hydrangea in this gorgeous Amazon vase. And all of that is from Amazon. Even the little, even this little vase, look at this. Amazon, Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, I mean, you can really do a lot from Amazon these days. It's not like the old days where all they sold was books and like cheap stuff. Like they sell really good stuff 
and it's still affordable. So yeah, I love it. And then back here, another Amazon find are these gorgeous babies. I love these little ottomans. They make a perfect extra seat. We had everybody over here the other day celebrating our daughter's 23rd birthday and they were just perfect because they could be an extra seat. So yeah, I love that. And then we had these chairs also for some seating. These are actually sold out, but I always leave a link for the ones that I would buy instead if I didn't have these. So I'll leave that linked up for you. But I just like, I, I designed the room to be a conversation area because we don't have a TV in here. And every time we have a party and every time we have everybody over, the room just works like perfection. And everybody has a seat and we're all gathered around the fireplace and I love it, I love it. fireplace broken up by all these light walls and then we have this other huge wall so in order to balance that out I went for these cabinets these are from restoration hardware I needed them to be really tall and they had what I really needed and of course I am a fanatic of black oak so these were just like mm. I'll leave a link for some from other places though because if you don't need them quite this big there's other places you can get them for less money but overall, I've been thrilled with these. And inside, they are loaded with all kinds of great finds. I've got all of my books. I just rearranged this and I like how they're stacked horizontally at the moment because then it feels a little bit more modern and a little bit graphic, but then everything's still here. I love these vases from H&M. I'm telling you, H&M is the source. They are the source. I've got such cool stuff from there. And yeah, I've got like trays again from Amazon mixed in with all the books. And of course my little African bust. I'm obsessed with African carvings. We lived in Africa. In case you didn't know that, we lived abroad for 12 years. We traveled all over the place. Uh, oh yeah, everyone wanted to know where the white ball ended up from H&M. Look at that. Look at this beauty. Gorgeous. H&M home. I mean, some people were writing in saying they didn't even know what H&M was. And I'm like, oh, let me be the one to introduce you. <laughs> and then over here, oh, we never get that moment because I can't open them at the same time because they're so heavy. Uh, yeah, I've got some other cool items. I love the little spiky planter. They're getting harder to find because they keep selling out everywhere. But yeah, of course, you could tell I have a thing for spikes. And uh, yeah, here's the other one, the other vase from H&M. Just gorgeous. But yeah, lots of books. I brought the color palette from over there with the caramel kind of beigey tones, brought it over into here as well. And yeah, it's just, you know, I think that at home, you should always surround yourself with the things that you really love. And for me, this living room, it's been tweaked, especially since the holidays, but it's still just full of all the things that we really love and you just get this sense of home and because this room is literally the center of our house you see it no matter where you want to go <laughs> and it's just i don't know i love it i love it so so there you go guys that is the tour i hope you've enjoyed it again and check out our living room i will leave all the links for the items that i've shared with you down below in the show notes and also make sure you check out our living channel it's a vlog style channel where you get to see the house every week and new stuff new stuff coming in and what we're up to travel and everything else but i will leave all of that linked down below for you and yeah thanks for coming by make sure you check out that link for meal note as well i think you guys are gonna love that and uh yeah i guess i better get back to work i'll see you guys in the next one bye